as the 5th of January 1958 was the closure date for the Heads of the Valleys route from Abergavenny to Merthyr. The LNWR's double track line that had been built to take coal from South Wales to the industrial heart of England. Joining the train, we first pass through Abergavenny Brecon Road Station, the Northwestern Zone Station where its sheds were situated. The train is comprised of five LMS coaches, not a difficult task for the two engines. One of the causes of closure runs alongside as the coal tank leads the Super D round the endless succession of reverse curves, necessary to take advantage of the northern slopes of the South Wales mountains along which the line ran. Crowds met the train at most intermediate stations. This is Govilla, first station out from Abergavenny. Despite the speed at which we ran in, this was a stop. The two engines were rather more accustomed to freight work, both types being allocated to this very heavily graded line.
Here we pass through Gilwell and Holt, the platforms of which survive today. Next are the signal box and sidings for Clidach, which are situated on the east side of a viaduct before reaching Clidach Holt, where rather fewer spectators awaited the train. These platforms also survive today. Twin tunnels avoided a diversion round the end of the mountain and through Clidach village, which is mostly situated on the northern bank of the river Clidach, whose deep valley the line had followed from Gilwern. Here the line twisted and turned to gain height. The valley was left near Black Rock Halt, situated at the source of the river, which fell from Munnies or Mount Fangata. Our next port of call is Bryn Mawr, the junction until 1954 of a line to Blynavon which is now reopened as a preserved line at Blynavon as the Pontypool and Blynavon Railway. Rinmaur didn't lose all its trains in 1958, as it was also the junction for a line to Nantaglo, which survived for a further four years.